Hi everyone, welcome to our maths learning for this week's home learning. Um, we are going to be looking at what you did was set last week, have a quick recap of that, and then we're going to move on to exchanging using the column method for addition and subtraction, which to begin with will be really tricky, but actually once you practice you'll get better and better, and hopefully you're really successful. Okay, to start with then today, I have got some of the questions that you were asked from last week's home learning, and I have shown just an example of how it can be done, then I'm just going to work through a couple of other examples, with, uh, of the same examples with you, to make sure that we're all on the same page for that. Okay, so one of your number sentences was 27, subtract 23, and so I lined up my columns, my tens and my ones, I put my numbers in, and my calculation symbol and then I worked it out by looking at the ones column starting in that column on the right and then saying what's seven take away three well, that gives me four and then I go to the tens column the next column along and it is two tens take away two tens which equal to zero tens but when I write the answer I don't need to write zero four because actually if there are no tens there you just don't need to put it okay uh, another example we had for subtraction was 48 subtract 36 so I've set it up again We've got our ones column, our tens column, and we're going to start in our ones column because it's the furthest to the right. And then we've got eight subtract six. So I use my uh, number ones knowledge in my brain. I can do that or I can count out some things that I've got at home to help me. So we've got eight take away six, which is two. Then we move along to our next column and that has, has four tens subtract three tens, which leaves us with just... 1, 10. So our answer for that number sentence is 12. Did you get it correct? I hope, I hope so. Okay, looking next then at the subtract uh, addition number sentences that I set. We've got 54 add 33 plus 33. And so I'm going to set out my columns, my tens and ones column. And I'm going to split it down the middle because that helps me to really see between the two columns. And I'm going to pop in my 54, which is five tens and four ones. You put my calculation symbol, the addition symbol there, make sure I do it the right way around, otherwise it will look like a multiplication symbol. And then I'm going to pop in my next number, which is 33, which is three tens and three ones. And then I'm going to put in my nice big equal sign. Starting in this column, I will say this over and over to make sure that everyone remembers, you always start with the column that's further to the right. So for us that's our ones and we do four ones, add three ones. Make sure you don't get stuck on which calculation it is because sometimes that can trick us. Uh, so four ones, add three ones, get counters out at home if you've got them or things that you can count with at home or you can use your number bond knowledge in your head. So four add three is seven. <clears throat> And then we've got move to our tens column. We have five tens, add three tens, equals eight tens. Do I need to write 80? No, because I'm just writing how many tens there are, because it's the tens column. My answer then becomes 87. One more practice, and then we're going to be moving on to have a look at that column addition and subtraction with exchanging, but not yet. So, tens and ones, really helps me to see clearly what I'm working with. So I've got 61, which is six tens and one one. Then my addition symbol, plus 38, add three tens and eight ones. And then my nice, big, equal sign at the bottom. Starting in this column, it's the feathers to the right. You'll be sick of hearing me saying that. Um, we've got one one plus eight ones equals nine ones. And then we've got six tens plus three tens equals nine tens. So our answer then becomes 99. And that is our practice and remembering what we were doing for column addition and subtraction where there was no exchanging. Now, we're going to have a look at exchanging with our column addition and subtraction. We're going to start with addition. 
because that's probably the easier one of the two. And we're going to do four different examples and then I will set you some number sentences to solve using the same strategy underneath in the description or if you look on the homework page it will be on there as well. Okay, so we haven't got bigger numbers. Numbers, are, uh, These numbers are below 30 so that will work for us. Um, and it is very much the same principle in terms of setting it out when there's just one extra step that we have to remember when we set out um, column addition probably in not just when we genuinely do it in case we have to exchange because we never really know if we're going to have to or not until we get to that part so I'm going to have my tens and my ones let's flip those up under there and then I'm going to say right I've got 28 two tens eight ones addition symbol plus 16 one ten six ones and then I need to leave a small gap under here because if we need to exchange, then we need to have a place to put the extra 10 that we might gain, okay? So my equal sign is gonna be right at the bottom. And I've left space here if I need to exchange, okay? So if I look to my ones column, the one furthest to the right, um, I've got eight add six. Now I know and many of you all know as well that 8 add 6 is 14. I wouldn't write 14 in here because 14 has a 10, doesn't it? 1, 10, 4, 1s. It can be made up lots of different ways. But in terms of what we're doing today, it's got 1, 10, 4, 1s. And I need to figure out how to write that. Okay. So what we do, let me write that down on here actually. That might make it a bit easier. We've got 4, oh, wrong pen. 14. So that's 1 10 and 4 1s. Okay, so I'm going to take the 4 1s and put that in my 1s column because they are 4 1s. I'm going to pop that in there. Okay, but I've still got that 10. Where does the 10 belong? Ah, it belongs, it's a 10, so it belongs in my 10s column. So I'm going to add that 10 in there, okay? So that is the ones column complete. 8 plus 6 is 14. I've taken the four ones and then I've and put it in the ones answer and then I've put the extra 10 that we've got into the tens column, okay? Then I move to the tens column, so then I've got to add my tens up. So I've got two tens, add one ten. Well, I know that's three ten, but then I've got my extra 10 from the exchanging, so two add one is three, add one more is four, four tens. That equals 44. So my answer to 28 add 16 is 44. Okay, let's have another practice. I've got four additional ones to practice with you because it is a tricky concept to understand. Um, and I want you to do the best that you can do, okay? Just keep trying and if you need any more help, you can let me know. So our next number sentence is 37 plus 14. So again, I set it up exactly the same way, just with that extra bit of gap in case I need to exchange tens. So I'm going to have my tens and my ones all the way down. Split them up. Put in 37, three tens, seven ones, addition symbol, because that's what I'm focusing on at the moment. And then I've got 14, which is one ten and four ones. Leave that little bit of space there in case I need to do some exchanging. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put in my equal sign. Okay. So, am I going to start in the tens column? No. You know I've gone on about it for about 50 times. Uh, we're starting in the column nearest to the right, which is the ones column for us. And we've got seven plus four. Seven plus four takes us to a number above nine okay so we can't put any number above nine into our ones column because it's more than at ten ten or more so we've got seven out of four it equals eleven eleven is made up of one ten and one one okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take the ones we're going to take that and put that into our ones column so that's one 
Then I'm going to exchange all of those other ones that make up 10 into 110. Okay? So now we can move from our ones to our tens column and we say what's three tens? Add one ten, add one ten. Three tens, add one ten is four tens. Add another is five tens. So our answer is for that one, 51. Fifty-one. Okay? Lovely. Let's have another practice with another addition number sentence because practice makes perfect as the saying goes. Or as close to perfect as we can get as long as we're trying our best. Okay, next number sentence. We have got 48 plus add 27 equals. Okay, so we have got tens, ones column, Right all the way down, just to separate them, show us what we're doing. And then we've got 48, four tens, eight ones, plus 27, two tens, seven ones. Leave that gap again underneath in case you need to do some exchanging, which you know you will have to today because actually that is what our focus is. Okay. So, starting with our ones column for us, closest to the right, and we are going to have to look at it and say 8 plus 7. I know 8 plus 7 is more than 10, or more than 9, sorry. We're going to fit numbers up to 9 in here. So I know that we're going to have to do some exchanging. So we need to say to ourselves, what is 8 plus 7? Okay, 8 plus 7? 15? Okay. And say, use things at home to help you with your counting if you're not sure, okay? So we've got 15. We split 15 into tens and ones. We've got one ten and five ones, okay? So we're going to use our ones here because all of the other ones that make up 15 in this 10 are going to be exchanged into the tens column. So we don't need to worry about those ones. So we've got one ten five ones. So we're going to put our five ones into here in the ones column, and then we're going to exchange our ten, all the ten ones into the tens column. Okay. So now we've got four tens, two tens, and one ten, which equals seven tens. So our answer for that one is seventy-five. Okay. Just to make sure you're understanding, all of these ones. We can change 10 ones into a 10, okay? Might be worth me getting some deans to show you that maybe. I'll see what I can do for that. One more example for addition, okay? And this one is uh, 69 plus add 19, okay? So we've got 60, can I say 67 plus 19? I hope I said that the first time. So then we've got our tens and our ones column. We split a nice line down the middle, put in the number 67, six tens, seven ones. Then the number, oh, our symbol, addition, don't forget. Then our 17, uh, 19, which is one ten and nine ones. Leave that nice space there so that we can do some exchanging. Okay. Starting in our ones column, first to the right. You will remember that by the time that this is through. Um, we have got seven plus nine. So seven plus nine, I know, and I'm hoping that lots of you know, that seven plus nine equals more than the nine that we're allowed, the, the up to nine that we're allowed in here before it turns into a 10. Okay, so seven plus nine equals 16. So for the number 16, We've got six ones, and then we can use one, make one ten out of that, can't we? So I'm going to take the six ones and pop it in my ones column, because I'm going to be using that. And then I'm going to take this ten, and I'm going to add it to my tens column, going with the other tens that I've already got. So I've got six tens, add one ten, add another ten, six, seven, eight tens. That makes my answer 80. You can write that next to my equal symbol. Okay? Really?
really tricky concept, what I would like you to do now is to pause the video and have a go at the number sentences that I've set for addition, which involve exchanging. Okay, before you move on to subtraction, I want you to have a go at the addition because I think once you move on to a subtraction, you might get a little bit confused. So have a go at practicing the addition. And if you get confused, come back and watch some of the examples that I've already done. If you don't get confused and you think that's great, I'm getting that, then you can move on to the subtraction. Okay, good luck with the addition. Right, I hope you've had a break after you've completed your addition, or, or to complete your addition. Um, we are now going to move on to subtraction. Okay, very, very similar. Um, in terms of laying things out for subtraction as it was before um, and we are just going to have a go and let me show you and give you some examples and then let you have a go at practicing okay so first number sentence we've got 31 subtract 16 set it out as I normally would tens and ones okay and then we've got 31, 3 tens, 1 1, and then 16, which is 1 10 and 6 ones, and we've got to put our subtraction symbol in there, I almost forgot, and then our nice big equal sign. Okay, right, this is where we have to focus. So we have got, we're starting in our ones column because it's the furthest to the right, um, and we have got 1 subtract 6. Now, that doesn't work for us. We've got one, subtracting six, would take us into minus numbers. We're not ready for that yet. We don't, we're not going there yet. So actually, it doesn't work for us. And it's not gonna give us the number that we need for our answer, okay? It's not how it works. So, I've only got one here. I need to subtract six, subtract six. So I have to do something now called exchanging. So in, in addition, we were giving to the tens column in subtraction we're taking away from the, the tens column but we're not taking away from down here so we're going to look here we're going to move along to this this tens column there are three tens okay we are going to take one of those tens we only ever take one ten so i'm going to cross through the three tens i'm only taking one so how many tens is that going to leave me with? Three take away one, three tens take away one ten leaves me with two tens. Okay, and then I've got that ten, got it. I'm going to put it next to this number here, that one ten. Okay, that now gives me a two digit number to subtract. So we've now got eleven take away six. Because look, that's our 1, that's our 10 we've just borrowed, okay? So we've got 1, 10, 1, 1, so that's 11, take away 6. If I use my number bonds, or you use your things that you've got at home to help you counting, um, 11, take away 6 is 5, okay? Now, moving to our 10s column, I no longer have 3 here, do I? I have 2, so I've got 2 10s, take away, subtract 1 10, gives me... 110. So my answer is 15. Not as scary as it looks, is it? Which is good. Let's have another example. Right, we've got 43 take away 26. 43 subtract 26 this time. So I'm going to set it up nice and quickly. Put in my numbers 43 and 26. My subtraction symbol. I have a super big equal sign by the looks of it. Okay, there it is set up as you normally would, as you've been practicing with your addition and subtraction. Now I'm going to look to my ones column, the furthest to the right, and I've got three take away six. If I've got three, have I got six to take away? Mm -mm. No, we're going to do that thing again. We're going to do something called exchanging. So I'm going to move along, so looking at my three, move along to my tens column. I've got four tens here. I think I can borrow one. I can exchange one. So I'm going to cross it out. 
only ever borrow one. We're not greedy, we just need to borrow one. And so if I've got four tens and I take away one ten, that leaves me with three tens. And I've got my ten, and I'm going to put it here. Okay, so here's my, my one, here's my ten. Okay, that then gives me the number 13 to work with, which is a bigger number than the six, which allows me to do some subtraction. Then we have 13 take away six, 13 take away six. Use your counters, use your brain, use any tool you have to help you to calculate that. And that should give us seven, okay? And then we move along to our tens column where we've got three tens, subtract two tens, leaves us with one ten, okay? Once you get into the swing of it, it will come very, very naturally and you'll practice and you'll be much, much quicker. I'm sure of it. Okay, two more examples for subtraction and then you're going to go off and have a go at doing some of the others that I've set you in the description or in on, on the website underneath the task. Okay, this one is an interesting one. We've got 60 subtract 32. And I say it's an interesting one because 60 has... Uh, one of the digits is a zero, which for some of us will absolutely blow our minds and we'll be like, oh no, it's too scary, but actually it's not, we can do this. So we've got 60, subtract, 32, and then our nice big equal sign. I've got a zero, I've got nothing. Can I take away two? Have I got two to take away? No, I haven't. So I'm going to look at where my zero is, I'm going to go along here, across my tens column and I'm going to say right well there are six tens there so I can borrow just one ten cross out that six and take away one ten which leave me with five tens and I'm going to put my ten there wow look at that I had zero now I've got ten who can use their number bonds knowledge to do or to tell me what ten take two is ten take two eight well done to those of you who did that. Lovely. Then I can move straight over to my tens column where I've got five tens, subtract three tens, and that will leave me with two tens. So that gives me an answer of 28. I'm hoping that some of you are thinking, oh, I could have a real good go at this now. Last one to practice before you go off and have a go by yourself. So we've got 71 take away 48. We could do it in our brains, but actually being able to use that written method, like I said last week, is really important because you will find calculations one day that are too tricky to work out in your brain. So having a strategy to use to write down is super, super important. So let's set it up. Tens, ones, line down the middle-ish. My line is a little bit wonky. I'm sure yours will be a little bit neater. I'm going to have 71, seven tens, one, one, subtract four tens and eight ones in 48. Okay, starting to the column nearest the right. We have got one, one, subtract eight ones. Hmm. I've got one, can I really take away eight? Not without splitting it into lots of pieces. Um. So we need to do that exchanging. I'm looking at my one and saying, right, well, I've got one. I can't take away eight from one. It's not gonna work for our number sentence on what we're doing here, okay? So I'm gonna move over to my tens column. There are seven tens. Tens column here, that seven might borrow, mind if I borrow one. So I'm gonna cross out the seven, I'm gonna borrow one ten. Seven tens take away one ten. Six tens. I'm going to pop that in there. Okay, it goes before my, my uh, ones digit. Gives me 11 now. Oh no, I've got 11 ones. Subtract 8. 11 ones subtract 8. If you use your superpower brains or, you, or your um, resources you've got at home to help, 11 subtract 8 is. Well done, it is 3. And then we move along to the next column where we have six tens, subtract four tens, which leaves us with two tens. Well done. 
then we have we've got our answer. Our answer is then 23. Okay. 23. And that is how we add and subtract with exchanging through the tens column. Okay. So when you're adding, it might be that you're exchanging by giving to the tens column, but when you're subtracting, you're exchanging out of the tens column and into the ones column. Okay, let me just give you a quick, quick reminder of those exchanges that I've done today. Um, and then you can move forward and in your job, in your task, have a go at completing the number sentences, which are either in the description or they're on the school website under the video for this. Okay, so here are subtraction number sentences. Oh, no, those are our practice ones. Are they all practice ones? Oh, here, I'm looking here. Addition, <laughs> where we're exchanging from the ones because we had too, more, too many ones, so we've given them to the tens column. Okay, add those as a reminder. And then we've got our subtraction where we were taking from the tens column into the ones column so that we could subtract. Have a go. If you need any more help, then get your grown-ups to send me an email and I will reply to them and try and be as helpful as possible. Use your brains, use counters, use objects at home to help you with, with the counting to make sure that you're accurate. And I wish you all the best. Good luck. I look forward to seeing what you've been up to. Thanks. Bye.